just want to prepare students for the real world or college. I just want to prepare them. In English, a lot of times students don't want to do the, the mundane grammar, mechanics, the writing. Um, English is not a favorite subject of too many people. And so I just want them to realize that you have to use these skills. You have to be able to read. You have to be able to think critically about what you've read. Um, you have to be able to write and formulate sentences and, um, you know, in everyday life. And then ultimately, you have to be able to um, present yourself in a polished manner. And, and so that's where the grammar and the mechanics. And I just want, I want students to be ready for the next level, whatever that level is. Well, a brief way to study on an exam is I can have a like isolate yourself, uh, repetition, and study in increment. I, I enjoy interacting with the students. I enjoy getting to know them. I enjoy um, their successes with them. I like to be part of um, their accomplishment and know that I'm making that difference to them. And so it, it kind of is, I, I learn just as much as they do sometimes. They show me new ways of looking at life and, you know, different apps and technology and hopefully I'm showing them new ways of looking at life too. I feel like Mrs. Tripsha deserves this award because she's a teacher that pushes me to try to do my best on everything and I feel like she really tries to prepare kids for college and give them the skills necessary to go on further from high school. I cannot honestly remember a time I wasn't ever teaching. It's, it's weird. I am. Professionally as a career, it's been a long time, but when I was younger, I always was with my mom, who is a teacher, and I would help her in the um, nursery at church and help her learn, uh, teach the students what they were learning. Um, from there, I, I helped my dance teacher and as, as a student teacher in, in her classes, and it, it just, I can't remember when I wasn't teaching.